Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Pigman. Oh, no, blazes. Get away. Wow. Ooh, that's an exciting opening. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party Season 2. And... Okay. Well, there's a skeleton over there, but no... No nether skeletons. Okay, that's fine. I have to, uh... Work on that area. And, uh... Expand it out a bit. Hello, this is Theron. Welcome to the Minecraft Land Party server. This is, and I can actually say this knowing so, for the first time in a while, this is episode 22 of Minecraft Land Party Season 2. Um, I know that because I went through all of my recorded footage. And, yeah, that was, uh, I don't, I, I, I uploaded everything. Which is a weird situation for me. Normally I have lots of sort of footage hanging about. And, uh, but not, not today. So, so I want to show you a couple things. Game sounds might still be a tad loud. Um, we're going up to the gold farm. And let me show you something kind of cool. All right. I need some blocks. I made way too many blocks, didn't I? I think I did. And I need... Some ladders to be safe, but I need trap doors. I need lots of trap doors. Where are my trap doors? I guess I need to make some. Alright. Well, let's do that. I don't need lots. But I do need trap doors. Oh, look. Here's lots of trap doors. Okay, very good. And I put these back here. And grab some of these slabs just in case. And some of these slabs just in case. All right. Woohoo. All right, so here we are on the roof of the nether. And the gold farm is up there. You cannot see it from down here. Uh, so we're going to go up. And I, I'm pretty much done with the spawning floors. I haven't done anything in a while. I haven't actually played on the server in, oh, probably more than a week. Um, here we go. Farm's coming into view. Woohoo! It looks massive. I mean, it's big, but it looks massive. So, I went with five floors, five spawning floors. And the reason for that was because I had originally my designs were for six but what I was finding was standing up here which is where the the plan is for me to stand you know what let me let me put on the wings just in case uh, so standing up here I can see to the guy standing at the back there and I can pretty much see the guy standing back there although you can see little footsies down here so I can see most of these five floors a sixth floor I can't see much of anything and these guys do need line of sight to maintain their aggro so here's what we're gonna do I have not completed this bottom floor I may have laid out all the blocks which is good but let me show you how my how I'm going to finish them off? Um, for that, I need water's no good in the Nether. I need trap doors. And let me show you the pattern that I came up with. It works really well, and it avoids some of the problems I was having. So I place trap doors, a row of trap doors, along, uh, hanging off of off of these blocks so they open that way and then I'm gonna place some block trap doors on those right so now when they open they all open like this and the pigmen think they can walk on those and then I place these right and then onto the side and onto the side and then I place on top of those just holding down the shift key Oop. Now, the pigmen 
can walk up here and they think they can walk here and they get stopped by this they can see through these I believe and they, they can't walk any farther the little tiny pigmen can't get on top of these the babies and then they fall down here so I'm gonna do that um, on all the sides so give me a sec I'll be right back with you it's really nerve-wracking being out here with all these guys grunting and grunting away. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I need a little escape route. Uh, I laid in the basic ones here. Okay. And now I need to finish it off. So I can do that, but then I need to be able to get out of here. And I don't want to necessarily go all the way down to the bottom just yet. Those few blocks that I dropped, I don't care if they despawn. I've got, I've got plenty. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a little walkway here. Boop, 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 boop. All right, and this will get me there. And there we go. So, all of the trapdoors have been placed. And again, I'm using wooden trapdoors because they seem to work the best. The pigmen think they can walk on them when they're open. And in fact, they cannot. And they can see through them to maintain their aggro. And they, uh, but it's still prevents them when they're closed whoa what was that oh yeah hey, hey. okay that was not good make sure I'm on this block all right so now all I've got left in terms of little platforms here is my actual AFK platform, although I won't be able to AFK here for too terribly long for a moment, for reasons that you shall see momentarily. Um, and I can put these away. So it takes 16 trap doors per side, per quadrant, per layer. So it's 64 per layer. And um, so I've got five layers. So it's, it took five stacks of trap doors. And this is the, the, the AFK block that I want. I've got these slabbed up, so uh, nothing can spawn up here. And then from here, I should be able to do a test. Let me just do a visual inspection to make sure nothing looks wrong. Uh, yeah, good. So, I made these three wide. I would love to be able to get them down into a one wide drop shoot, but I don't, it doesn't seem to work. Um, the same general structure. Etho did something similar to this and he was able to do it and I need to go look at his and see if I can figure out a way. Oh, hello, Magma Cube. Um, but this solves most of the design problems. So, I'm going to do a little test here. Let's, uh, who's going to be my lucky guy? Let's shoot you. And I don't want to do a full, ooh, oh, miss. Yeah, I don't want to do a full draw on these because my bow is too powerful. And I just want to hurt him. I don't want to kill him. There we go. Oh gosh, it's loud. Let me turn down the game sounds a bit. And it might take a couple tries to get the chain started. But one of these guys should have seen me. They should, in theory, still be aggro at me. But no. Ugh. There we go. Oh, interesting. It's starting to lag things. Okay, now they see me. And they should drag the rest of them with me. A new one spawning behind should get aggro. Come on. You guys can see me, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we have our little chain has seems to have started. Hopefully it'll keep it up. Um, but if we go too long, it's things are going to get uh, really laggy. 
Because right now... Oh, and it didn't keep up. So you see up there our entity count? We've got like 600 entities. It's already lagging things a bit. This will go up dramatically. Seven hundred. Wow. Okay. Well, I need to play around with this a bit. Um, my bow is just too powerful. I need to get enough draw to get over there to hit them. But I don't want to actually kill them. In one shot, at least. Okay. All right. Well, I need to uh, play around like maybe I need to be at a slightly different height here. Um, and maybe if I if I get closer to... Uh, I don't know. We'll play around with it. Anyway, so now... Let's go back. Go down to the bottom and see what we got. Uh, so notice I switched over to my, my sword because I have looting three on my sword to uh, maximize the drops. And we should see when we get close enough. There we go. Look at all those experience orbs. Not the primary purpose of the farm. Okay, there's a magma cube over there. We need to keep an eye on it. But we should be okay. At all. And I don't have any gold in my inventory. Alright, so. Don't turn our back on the magma cube. Not bad. Let's go get the magma cube. Uh, so these golden swords, I don't really want. So what I can do is I can kind of spread this out around so I don't pick them up. All right. So there's a lot of experience just laying on the floor here. On the ceiling, it's the ceiling of the nether. And like, oh, we're gonna hit 100 levels, aren't we? I think we are. And a lot of the levels that I have just came from building the thing. Oh, close. All right. So here we go. Prepare for There we go, 100 levels. But more importantly, more importantly, I've got some gold. Let's go see how much I, that got. And remember, that was just running for, that wasn't running for long at all. Okay, so let's uh, do this. Doop. And do this. Doop. It takes a lot of these gold nuggets, of course, to... Whoa. That wasn't what I wanted. Uh, takes a lot of these gold nuggets to turn into a, into a, into a cube. But... Let's see what how much we got. Oh, nine. Oh, this is going to work out nicely. 33 so I'll get us what three cubes plus plus a little bit that's not too bad and this is the gold that I generated just from working on the farm so that's not too bad so now we need to do a few things um, the swords and the zombie flesh I don't want them don't need them can't use them so Right now, I'm mostly just sort of piling everything up 
at least all the swords because they don't even stack they're a pain in the butt uh, so I'm piling all the swords up in one place and letting them despawn so what I need to do is build some sort of a uh, trash compactor for them uh, eject them into lava or something so that they don't they don't bother me I don't need them uh, the zombie flesh, of course, I can take this back and trade it with the villagers and get emeralds at least. I mean, that's... So I got almost three stacks of zombie flesh from that short little bin. And the, the, the looting sword helps with that, of course. So, uh, But I don't want to have to climb all the way up and down the ladder. I don't have to come all the way back down here to... Uh, see, I've got a lot of zombie flesh from this thing, as it is. So the next step that I need to do is build a little platform where I can oops um, oh, I don't want to do that uh, where I can where I can kill these guys and doesn't have to be this low I only need to drop the the pigmen I can't remember what it is but I have to do a little bit of research but I only have to drop them so far for them to die and then if I get it farther up, then I can build a little sorting system to sort out the gold, which is really the part I want. And everything else can go get ejected into, uh, into lava. And I don't want to get too close to all those swords. Because right now there's 12, 12, huh, 12 of them. So that's where we're at. Um, and then once I get the sorting system in place, then that'll cut down on the entity problems should reduce the lag on the server quite a bit with the game i'm not quite sure whether the lag is induced at the server or on the client side but uh it'll reduce the lag quite a bit and then i have to just deal with the uh with the experience balls because there's there's a lot of them and although it's awesome uh, certainly if i need to repair stuff it's this is the way to do it uh, but at the same time, uh, they they generate a lot of uh, a lot of you know pressure on the game. So I want to be able to come up with some system for collecting them and shooting them up here at me, the player, so that I can collect it while I'm up here, and that way I can uh, just stand up here and collect all the the XP and and uh, repair all my stuff and I don't have to worry about going back down all right oh come on there we go but gold is a good thing so especially when I get that part of the nether fortress sort of revamped um, do I, I may need to make these pathways a little longer. I think they're, the guys are clearing out a little bit before the new ones spawn in behind them. See, it's already lagging the game a bit. And the ones that spawn in have to see me while the other guys are still upset for them to sort of mob in and, and, uh, and get aggro at me too. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. We may play around. Five floors should be enough spawning spaces, I would think. <laughs> wow, that's funny. How many entities do I have now? Only 500 some. Half a K. Okay. Well, and honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world to have to come up here and work a little bit to get, um, to sort of keep it going. At least until I get all the sorting, the item sorting and stuff worked out, because uh, I have to climb back down periodically at the moment anyway, because if I don't, um, the game will get kind of unplayable. And I assume this will affect other players who are on. Not that anyone's on right now. Oh, my pings are really bad, too. I don't know why that is. Okay, well, that's probably not helping the situation. 
But I can use all the, uh, you can use the gold for making power rails and such like that. And uh, golden carrots, which are kind of my preferred uh, food source in the game. And now I should have plenty of resources to make all the golden carrots I want. There we go. Hey guys, yeah, I'm still here. Jeez. Huh. The other thing I'm not quite sure how how it works out is the uh, the chicken jockeys. Um, I am a little concerned that a chicken jockey might made it might make it down. Okay, I hit you, and you know that I hit you. Oh, this is getting painful. Oh, there's only a thousand plus entities going on right now. There we go. Let's add to that a little bit. Let's see how painful it gets. Oh, and speaking of painful, sorry about the air conditioning noise. It is not quite triple digits here in Los Angeles today, but it's it's getting close and the AC in the house is not doing a particularly good job of keeping up. So I have the AC on, I have it cranked. We're trying to keep it uh, cool enough in here. Um, if I, I could turn it off, but if I do that, it's gonna get really warm in here as opposed to now where it's just warm. And I don't do well. Yeah, it's like 78 degrees in here, um, which is not good. I don't do well in the heat. And if we let it get too far away, the AC totally won't be able to keep up. Uh, so unfortunately it means get the noise in the in the audio I'm sorry about that whoa that was weird yeah okay okay this is gonna be a little painful so I'm gonna go collect all this stuff and then figure out the right height to build the platform and start working on that I'm not gonna do that on camera because there's gonna be a lot of work involved there and obviously I, I'm rubber banding all over the place because there's too much stuff down here 1200 entities all right but that's it um just wanted to show the how i was building the the trap door arrangement because i think it's kind of cool and start clearing out some of these entities um and yeah so that was it so i'm very happy to be making progress here oh hello mr zombie you picked up a golden sword Probably one that was laying on the ground here. I can't quite deal with you just yet, but I will in a moment. So let's get some of these guys. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll leave it there now. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Theron, Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Right? Bye.